morning. It's a deal for Zal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trade on the 19th of October 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, Asian markets, we have Chinese GDP data, retail sales all coming in line overnight. No real reaction. Um, a lot of individuals uh, are basically stating that this is all, f it's all rigged. The data itself is all fraudulently uh, uh, collected and really it's a bit of a coincidence that it comes in as expected, especially given the fact that imports and exports were down quite quite drastically uh, last week. So, uh, and adding the fact that obviously inflation was stronger as well, basically uh, an inline number basically means that there's no additional stimulus or QE coming from China. And therefore, you are looking at the Hang Seng closing down 0.4%. The Shanghai uh, basically closes flat, whilst the Nikkei certainly closes negative. Okay. Now, we have uh, oil prices higher overnight on back of Saudi, some of Saudi comments stating that um, the supply side of the equation really has exhausted itself now and uh, the markets are going are basically finding equilibrium, etc., etc. And OPEC and all OPEC members potentially discussing this this deal. So, again, uh, oil prices back above 51. Now, there was a potential H&S formation on oil that I was highlighting, and that certainly seems to have been negated to a large extent. Now, if I go over to the four-hour chart, the right shoulder certainly has been negated. Okay, so the focus really now remains on this resistance level at 51.5, 51.6, to keep oil prices uh, subdued. So. Again, Chinese data comes out in line and uh, no real reaction really from Europe this morning. Okay, now the FTSE is negative though. Okay, uh, the German DAX is still negative, the French CAC more or less flat. Now, the FTSE 100 is negative primarily, it has been helped by obviously oil hitting 51. Uh, but the main concerns for the FTSE are Foxons, Travis Perkins, and uh, we also have weak earnings from the likes of uh, Rickett. Is it Rickett? Rickett. Ricket Bentico, okay, so again, uh, certainly negative, okay, so uh, weaker earnings from the FTSE 100 perspective, we all we already had the FTSE under pressure yesterday due to uh, a stronger sterling, you can see sterling has recaptured that 1.23 level, stronger inflation number, certainly uh, reversing this potential uh, sterling slide, so um, one shouldn't expect the uh, BOE to be extremely dovish, and therefore that's hurting the FTSE 100's ability to move higher. Oil prices at 51 will help the FTSE to a large extent, okay, but uh, but uh, weaker earnings and stronger inflation data certainly will weigh. Adding the fact that we have US markets again uh, under pressure, okay, we also we have the uh, Nasdaq now under pressure given the uh, earnings from uh, Intel certainly weaker than expected. So again, keeping the pressure on the Nasdaq. We also have uh, the S&P 500 remaining weak as well. I think we've hit a pivot low of 2135. So again, US markets indicating for a potential move lower. And therefore you are looking at European markets under resistance. Now let's have a look at the technical picture folks, uh, given the fact that uh, we have had uh, UK uh, jobs data coming in slightly better than expected. Uh, and again, helping sterling to move higher and thereby negating any further QE or rate cuts via the BOE. Uh, the construction data out of Europe certainly came in on the weaker side as well. So again, indicating potential risk aversion. Again, let's, re let's recap the uh, technical picture now. So the 10 minute chart I highlighted yesterday, we have this h &S formation, the German DAX, looking for this gap fill below to close. So certainly uh, same uh, emphasis, uh, again, looking for a weaker German DAX. Now the Euro, again, I did highlight yesterday, the Euro was in support given the uh, Draghi, and Mr. Draghi is only 24 hours away. You are looking at a stronger euro and thereby looking at weaker European equities. Okay, now let's move on to the French CAC. French CAC again, same similar type of HS formation, looking for a lower high here, folks. Okay, so looking for a lower high and then looking for a flush lower. So clearly see the HS uh, being carved out here. Okay, so the double top is in, looking for this lower, uh, lower high and then now looking for the lower low to close the uh, potential gap below. Moving on to the German DAX now, or should I say the FTSE 100 now? Let's bring up the FTSE. FTSE 100 again, you have the unfilled gap at 6940. It's all about gap fill, so the focus remains on that gap being closed. 60 minute chart, realistically, the only real support we have is either 200 MA, which is at 6950 or 6940. So there's no other real support zone on the FTSE except those at two potential zones or areas. Euro stocks. 
Here we go. Euro stocks, okay, double top resistance. This is why one of the reasons why I'm actually short Euro stocks. So we have double top on the Euro stocks and 60 minute chart looking for weakness. 10 minute chart, obviously, of this HS formation. The pivot high is uh, 3052. You have uh, a neckline at 3040. So you are looking at a potential retest of 3020 from my perspective on the downside. And if the market flushes even further, then you are looking at 3010 gap fill support below. Again, you are looking at a stronger euro, thereby looking for weaker equity, EU equity prices. So it's all about stronger euro, Mr. Draghi maintaining a neutral tone, a uh, hawkish stance potentially, and thereby sending the euro higher, which in turn sends European equities lower. So keep an eye on the euro USD daily chart, folks. As I said yesterday, you are looking at support. If the euro is into support, you are looking at European equities into weakness, okay? And one of the reasons why I'm actually short the euro stocks at present. Okay, I think that's a summation then of uh, the uh, the European session this morning. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.